Hi everybody, it's Paul here from Ballistic Blood Bullets and uh, doing a video response to Extro the Mutilator, uh, one of the coolest guys on YouTube and a uh, huge following on the movie community and that includes myself. He's been around for three years now. Uh, just, uh, I think it was today that he celebrated his three years on YouTube. Uh, huge congratulations for that, absolutely fantastic channel is always worth watching and uh, every time he releases uh, a video it's uh, the first thing that I check out and if you guys haven't um, seen his channel to date please do be sure to get along over there straight, a lot, straight away and uh, say hello to one of the best in the movie community that's Extro the Mutilator. Now Extro was uh, he put out uh, a video um, plea for help, for assistance regarding this movie, Stunt Squad. Uh, he's got uh, the American VHS release and uh, he was talking about the, I believe, the Japanese VHS release and uh, stating that um, it's a full screen issue and uh, is actually slightly cut, although the, the version that he has with the American release is widescreen but uh, he believes it may be cut, or well, certainly the quality is not fantastic. And he was inquiring of any other releases that may be out there. Well, this is one of those other releases that is definitely out there. And it's from IFS, Iver Film Productions, from the 80s, one of the uh, more famous companies during that period, with all these sort of uh, fear-mongering about um, video nasties and what have you. Uh, but this was a very renowned company, one of the notorious films that they released under the IFS banner was of course Night of the Demon, which is one of the infamous UK video nasties, but uh, this is a terrific film and uh, it is definitely uh, a widescreen release, it is released in the proper uh, aspect ratio, 185 to 1 and its duration is listed as 90 minutes. Now on the IMDB it's stated as being 92 minutes uncut and 88 minutes cut, so ironically this one falls in between, but I'm pretty sure, pretty certain, that this is a full uncut release of the movie, uh, particularly with Iver Film Services Limited. They didn't release, as far as I'm aware, certainly during the 80s, anything other than fully uncut releases, so I'd be pretty confident in saying that this is indeed a full uncut release. And as you can see, hopefully, from the quality of the case, both externally and internally, and the tape itself, it is a gloriously well-preserved example and as I say extremely pleased to have this one uh, so hopefully extra uh, this is what uh, you were seeking and uh, please by all means uh, drop me a PM and we can chat further about this one but as I say I'm pretty certain that uh, this is uh, an uncut version and as I say it is most definitely in the proper ratio release of 185 to 1. For those of you not familiar with Stunt Squad, <coughs> just a little bit about the movie. It's a great fun, great fun movie. Uh, it's a mid-70s uh, action cop Euro Italian made film. And it's directed by Domenico Paolella and it stars Marcel Bozuffi, Vittorio Mezzogiorno, that's difficult to say at the best of times. Riccardo Salvino, Nello Pasafini, and Claudia Gianotti. And it's got a wonderful musical score by Stelvio Cipriani, one of the greats of that uh, period. Uh, basically, the film centres around um, a specific cop unit that's put together by Bozuffi, who plays Commissioner Griffey. He's a hard nosed. Uh, hard-boiled, no-nonsense cop, and uh, he's determined to take down a notorious protection racket gang, uh, particularly when things go uh, completely 
out of hand when uh, the protection racket gang they start setting off bombs around the Italian cities and when an old lady uh, innocent is killed Bazufi has had enough and he forms his own elite team called of course the stunt squad and uh, they're an elite unit of mo motorcycle riding cops who are highly trained in martial arts and very adept at stunt driving and what ensues is car chases explosions fights and brutal beatings they all ensue once Commissioner Griffey puts together his elite team. Excellent, excellent stuff. Big, big fun indeed. Uh, as I say, uh, this is um, the widescreen, fully uncut, UK release of the movie. Now, just to um, add a little bit of extra for Extro the Mutilator, who are uh, always happy to chat to and uh, he always puts on as I say such great shows and uh, his excuse me <coughs> excuse me they're still trying to get over this cold his collection of Japanese VHS releases and Euro movies and DVDs is pretty vast <coughs> so I thought I would take this uh, opportunity to not only talk about Stunt Squad but uh, throw in a few other titles just for extra really and uh, just uh, a little bit of fun and um, let's have a look and um, see what other titles we can we can show off here these three in the background here um, really are all movies that will be most evident and known to extra but uh, just to stick with the Italian and Euro crime movies and uh, a bit of action here we have Pronto which is uh, a Ray Lovelock, Martin Balsam, Elk Summer movie. Very cool and uh, definitely set during the similar sort of period of the late 70s, early 80s. And uh, good Italian made action crime outing. And again, this is on uh, a UK big box release from the 80s and again it's in pretty good condition. Okay next up we have got Campuchia Express. This is a very good action war movie and I've got some very familiar names there. Robert Walker, Christopher George and Woody Strode. There we have Christopher George and Woody Strode there. And again, it's a full action movie, um, very much uh, centred around war and uh, these guys in their war fatigues. And uh, it's a film that is fairly expansive and certainly explosive. Very enjoyable movie indeed. And that is Cambodia. Express. Okay, next up we've got a uh, pretty glorious and gorious cover and uh, another crime movie. Uh, this is called The Executioner. Great blurb there. He shoots, knifes, hangs, butchers, and crucifies them until they turn on him. Always sounds a little bit like uh, a Robert Exterminator Ginty type of movie, doesn't it? This one definitely is extremely gory, big fun, and again, it's uh, one of the infamous 80s UK tapes, and uh, this one is particularly rare, so very pleased to have this one, and uh, it's got a fabulous cover, hasn't it? This is the sort of cover art that you are not going to get released these days in a politically correct environment. But uh, big, big fun, lots of gore, lots of action, and just all round gory goodness. That's the executioner. Okay, on a similar sort of theme of 
brutality and revenge. We've got trapped, and uh, particularly love the <laughs> warning X-rated blurb that uh, is screaming out there. Again, another big box UK release VHS, and again in very very good condition considering its age. And this one stars the fabulous Henry Silver. He's like a backwards hick that you don't want to mess with. And uh, it is very, very hard boiled stuff. When you're cornered like an animal, it's kill or be killed. Glorious indeed. That's, uh, as I say, Henry Silver in his finest or one of his finest roles and uh, very very much inspired by a hardcore late 70s 80s revenge type movies wonderful front cover artwork there great stuff indeed that's trapped <laughs> okay and just to end off here on a bit of action spaghetti bizarreness, but uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Vengeance of the Barbarians, wonderful cover artwork there again. And this is like a hybrid of uh, Barbarians and spaghetti western action, goodness, thrown together. Tony Anthony and Lloyd Batista, and uh, definitely a film that uh, is off the beaten track, but uh, very much worth seeking out. It's uh, directed by the fabulous Ferdinando Baldi, who made some great action movies during the 80s, and he was around from the 50s, 60s, 70s, right through to the end of the 80s and he really was a prolific filmmaker one of the very best from Europe right through all of the genres really uh, from peplum to spaghetti western to horror to sci-fi to crime and as I say right through into the 80s when he made a lot of excellent action movies Ferdinando Baldi is one of my favourites from the Euro-Italian stable filmmaking. And this is a blast. It really is big, big fun. Vengeance of the Barbarians. Fabulous stuff indeed. That really is it. A little sort of uh, extra to uh, Extro the Mutilator. Hopefully you enjoyed it, my friend. And uh, hopefully it was entertaining for everybody else who's kindly taken the time and trouble to check out the video. And uh, as always, I really do appreciate it. So thank you very much indeed for watching. And uh, hopefully, as regards the stunt squad, it uh, has answered the call put out by Extro the Mutilator. Thank you very much indeed for watching everybody, really do appreciate it. Take care, see you all soon, bye for now.